Hey folks, today I'm doing a video on repurposing. Um, you know, there's lots of things that I've scrapped over the years and kept steel pieces out of and kept plastic pieces out of and nuts and bolts. And uh, I've used some of those on this old forklift. This is an old Clark. It's got a little four-cylinder LP, um, LP gas engine in it. And when I got it, um, it needed a lot of attention. And this this hood basically this is where this the seat is on the back side of this had a big chunk out of it but anyway that's the seat and the forklift cylinder is is behind it there now uh initially uh this thing hadn't i guess in the last six years i haven't run this so initially i had basically cleaned up the points and I was kind of fighting with this hood because there was no good way to pick it up. I'm like, ah, there's got to be a better way. You know, I need to need to revamp the battery tray anyway. So um, this it had a battery that size in it, and I'm going to put a, a larger truck battery in it. And it needs to be a different tray. It'll swing out on a pin right there. That's a, a three quarter inch pin, and it basically the tray would sit in there like that, and then swing out to service the battery. And then swing it back in, of course, when you're done. Um, but anyway, I was fighting with this thing. And I'm like, yeah, there's got to be a better way. So what I did um, is I went, basically, you can see I've got two hinges back there. And they're just basic hardware hinges. Uh, one, one side is full, and the other side I cut. I scribed lines and cut them off evenly drilled and tapped in both parts. So basically it it'll hold it up now. It can hinge back down pretty pretty easily for the most part. Uh, the I made this bracket out of a lawnmower an old lawnmower, I forget if it was just a deck adjustment on a push mower or what it was, but um, set this down so you can kind of see. And initially this when I bought it, this tank or the propane tank base was bolted with half inch studs uh, down through here and down through here. Well, it was just, there was no way to move it. <clears throat> so, yeah, in order to get this seat plate, seat base to hinge up and swing up out of the way like I wanted it to, I had to make this movable. So now it's just on a pin. I, I gusseted the propane base and uh, you know, it's got a pin here to lock it into place it just gra gravity drops down into that other and those are three quarter inch pins now they're they're pretty robust and i just welded that uh and it's probably a little over an inch tall pin on top of the head of the other three quarter inch pin and voila so i've got to still make a battery box yet <clears throat> and what I've used is an old uh, bed frame rail. It's, it's actually the, this would be the cross piece in, in front of a bed with the strut, which is right here, it connects the two side rails on a bed frame. And it's pretty stout, uh, eighth inch thick. And I think this material has probably got a little more carbon in it because it's always... I've always noticed bed frame, you know, <clears throat> I see them in a the scrap all the time, so I'll pull them out if I see them in there, and they're easy to get at. It's just nice angle iron to work with. Use a grinder and cut it. Uh, those those 45 thou cutoff discs do a real good job, and I'll weld this together, weld a pin on the side of it so it can fit down in there, make a new battery tray for that larger truck battery. Um, and the... the the uh, battery itself is about the same amperage, so it starts the forklift real nice. I've I've had it running with that battery a couple of different times. So you can see back here that I had to even shim those hinges up with some plastic. And the there's some polycarbonate in there. There's some thinner shims that were part of a, a bag boy, kind of a pull-behind golf uh, club, a little caddy. And I had some parts on one of those left over. I 
I was going to toss them. Up. Well, let's get some plastic that's thick enough. I might just cut it out of those, and sure enough, it worked out fine. So, you know, made a, made myself a little template out of a a uh, I think it was either a cereal box or a cracker. It was pretty stout cardboard. Um, and that was it. So, yeah, just going to show uh, basically that you might have just what you need to fix something that's maybe not worth putting a lot of money into, but you need to fix it right. So, yeah, it's, I think I'm going to have this forklift up and running within the next day here, and maybe do another video of it while I'm running it and show that it's uh, operable. It's been sitting, like I said, five or six years, so I need to do an oil change on it and make a few other adjustments. But yeah, turning scrap into something useful. Stay tuned.